Okay. I do think some of your members are giving you guys a bad name. Let's just watch some, just recordings of some of the language that you guys have been using. Roll the tape. That's right. Y'all are going into slavery for a slave and so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. All right. That's what the Bible says. All right. So y'all can sit up here and listen. Y'all can take it as a joke. But guess what? All the atrocities that was done to our people is going to be done to you. Times two. So all the atrocities that was done to our people is going to be done to you. And that's what that's what you saw shows. Exactly. All right. So uh, I want to say shalom. All praises going in honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kakudash, which means all praise to the Most High. His true name is Yahweh in the name of his son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai and Rakan Kadash is translated as Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the hopeful elect. All right. Uh, basically, I'm going to play another video by another brother and it will show uh, Esau, which Esau is the so-called white man. It will, it will show his hypocrisy. It will show his manipulation of uh, of uh, what actually happened using videos. All right. Not showing the whole thing so he could control and influence how you view the Hebrew Israelites. All right. We're not black Hebrew Israelites. The Bible identifies the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans as Hebrew Israelites through prophecy. That is the proof, all right? Those so-called Jewish people, they just declared themselves to be the Israelites, all right? And, and, and nobody said a word. But if you, if you do a little research, there's, there's, there's multiple scholars, all right? And, the, and they're so-called white scholars. All right, because people don't like to believe what we're saying. So you can believe the so-called white people, which prove and go through history telling you that they are not the people. All right. So I'll get this scripture uh, before I get the other video. And we'll see how uh, Esau uses his propaganda. All right. The first scripture will be Revelation 12 and 10. It says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed, his Mashiach. All right. For the accusing of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Right. So the accusing of our brethren is the so-called white people. Uh, let's look up the word accused. To accuse before a judge, to make an accusation, an extrajudicial accusation. In the Greek, that word is categorio. To be a plaintiff, that is, to charge with some offense. So they're charging us with the offense of what? Being hate groups or being terrorists or being black supremacists. First of all, we're not black. All right. And according to your definition of a hate group or a terrorist, we don't fit that bill because we have not committed any acts of violence against any people for political gain. All right. That's what the American government does. All right. Now, let's look up the word propaganda. Because that's what they're using right now. All right. Information, especially of a biased or misleading nature. See, when you look at that video, it's biased and misleading. All right. It says used to promote or publicize a particular political cause or point of view. So they're using that to 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 push their agenda that uh, what the Hebrew Israelites are hate groups and um, and uh, terrorists. That's the agenda that they want to push forth. And they're using biased and misleading information. Now, let's look at what actually happened. All right. Let me, let me oh, correct myself. Oh, let me wait. correct myself. Oh, wait. Let me correct myself. 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 Let me correct myself.
myself. Oh, wait, Let me correct myself. According according to the definition of rape, what's the definition of rape? What is it? Def get, get the etymology. That's huh? right. Because yes, I have been seized. My ancestors were raped. That's right. right. From from Europe and West Africa. That's right. Rape means to seize. Right? That is abortion. Okay. Yeah. Nobody cares about what happened to us. So there you have you have white uh so-called white police officers all right they arrested this woman all right so she she was in the wrong but fox news didn't show that all right i'm gonna get some scriptures uh this is i'm gonna get uh, uh psalm 34 and 7 it says the angel of yahweh encampeth around about them that fear him and delivereth them so those those brothers was delivered man they were first of all they was in the right but but 30, 40 years ago, 20 years ago, or even even um, depending on the situation, man, regardless if we if we are right, because we are um, the lowly, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, these uh, so-called white people can get away with murder against us. But that shows you that uh, there's been a transference of power. All right. And the, the Lord is uh, he's intervening. All right. On behalf of his men. All right. And what you saw was that woman was put in jail. 
You saw that woman came up trying to cause confusion. They were they were having a discourse with the woman. She was failing miserably. She was sitting there buffering. Think of things, thinking of things to say, trying to control the narrative, control the situation, and she failed. All right. This is Isaiah 32 and 5. It says, The vile person shall no more call shall like the vile person shall be no more called liberal. And the word vile is foolish, senseless, fool in the ball, which she was. All right. And liberal, inclined, willing, noble, generous, noble, princely. All right. Because it used to be, oh, 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 innocent white woman, harmless. No, they like she uh, she got arrested. All right. It says, nor the churl said to be bountiful. Churl, Kalal, scoundrel. All right. And she she showed. No, nah, Kaliya. All right. Kayalal in the Hebrew. All right. She showed herself to be a scoundrel. All right. In the sense of withholding niggardly churl. All right. And she was not bountiful. OK. Independent. Shawai. Noble. Free. No, nah, because she got locked up. All right. She got arrested. Verse six. For the vile person will speak villainy, which she did, and his heart will work iniquity, which she did to practice hypocrisy, which she did. And to utter error against Yahweh to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. Verse 7. The instruments also of the chair are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words. And that's what she did. She tried to, she devised the wicked device to destroy the poor. And we are the poor right now with lying words. Oh, he assaulted me. He did this, that, and the third. No, you provoked, you provoked those brothers and you exaggerated. What happened? It says, even when the needy speaketh right, and them brothers were speaking right. The men of the Lord, the, the Hebrew Israelites speaking uh, according to the Bible in 100% truth, they were speaking right. You put our people in slavery, now you got to go into slavery. Revelation 13 and 10, that's what the scripture said. All right. Uh, verse 8, but the liberal devised liberal things, and by liberal things shall he stand. Okay. So let me jump to Isaiah 47 and 10. It says, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth me. Yeah, because we're living in the information age now. Everyone has cameras, and, and, and about time anything happened, it's, it's up on the internet getting exposed. Every time the so called white man try to push for something and lie, it's not even a full couple hours later where it, it, it'd be turned around on them like, no, this is what really happened. They're lying. This is propaganda. All right. It says thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee and thou hast said in thy heart and I am and none else beside me. Yet yeah, they think that they're God. Verse 11. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shall not know from which it riseth and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shall not be able to put it off and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly which thou shall not know. So you're going to be destroyed. Verse 12, stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. Right, because uh, the media is a, is a tool that's uh, for propaganda and that's sorcery. All right, manipulating uh, the, the, the minds of people, how they think, that's sorcery. That's witchcraft. All right. It says, Thou art rarity in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Right. So basically all of their, their witchcraft, all of their tools uh, that they were using, their, their devices. All right. is not working anymore. All right. I'll get uh, this scripture right here. Uh, close it with uh, this here. This is... Uh, Second Ezra chapter six, verse twenty-eight. It says, uh, "As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. Corruption is being overcome, and the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared." So, with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. Call Halal Yimla Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakodash. Uh, once again, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who were well through the scriptures. Honorable mention to the brothers out there prophesying in sincerity and the truth and the hopes of being saved. Shalom.